So this is one of my favorite electrolytic demonstrations. And what I have here is two metal electrodes in a beaker of lead nitrate. And what I have uh, underneath this beaker is a quad power, basically a DC uh, source for direct current. So basically this is going to be my battery. This is a non-spontaneous process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to force the plating of lead onto lead. Not very exciting, but I think it's a pretty cool demo to introduce and talk about electroplating and electrolysis or a form of um, non-spontaneous process. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply the negative lead from my battery to one of the electrodes. Okay, and we have it right there. And then I'm going to apply the positive lead to my battery to the other electrode. So what I have here, if I can just get this metal down, here we go. What I have here is I have my anode of the battery, which is negative, attached to the um, cathode, because electrons always flow from the anode to the cathode. And if that's the case, if this is going to be my cathode because it's connected to the anode of the battery, this must be the anode of the electrolytic cell that flows from this wire back into the cathode of the battery. So one more time, battery has an anode connected by the black lead from here to the cathode of this. And we have the cathode of the battery connected to the anode of the electrolytic cell. Now, of course, nothing is happening because I haven't turned the battery on. This is a non-spontaneous process. Now, the charge that's going to occur is because we say that the uh, anode of the battery which is right here connected to this uh, lead electrode is negative, it makes the cathode negative. And as we've already learned, red cat and ox, we know that the cathode is the place of always reduction. So the lead plus two in solution is going to gain the electrons that are pumped or pushed from the anode of the battery to the cathode of the, of the electrolytic cell. And we're going to say that this uh, cathode is a place of reduction. So electrons are being uh, gained here to make solid metal, metal. And that metal is lead. So lead plus 2 is going to plate onto this electrode. And on the other electrode, we have to send the electrons back from the anode back to the cathode of the battery. This is going to have a solid metal become ions. So this is going to get smaller by sending electrons to the cathode, this anode oxidizes, is forcing the oxidation of the lead, make it, making it become lead zero into lead plus two. Over here, the cathode, red cat, we have reduction of the lead plus two ions into lead, so this one should get bigger. So let's turn on the voltage. Before, before we do so, let's get up close and personal and see what's going to happen specifically. Let's get a little focus here some point. Okay, now I'm going to turn on my, my current here and let's see if my cathode, which is this electrode here, is going to get bigger. So turning on the voltage, we should be seeing some reduction taking place and as you can see, the cathode, which I know because it's attached to the anode of the battery, is getting bigger and you can see that solid uh, lead is being is crystallizing. So lead plus two in ions is becoming lead zero, which is the solid. So we have this kind of rudimentary plating going on. Now on the other side, tough to see the other side here. Okay, and I think I just pushed my, my, uh, my, one of my leads out. Here we go. So on the other side, probably can just turn this. That, that one's getting smaller. And you can probably see some pitting going on if you look very carefully. And there it is. There's your electroplating. Now, of course, this is not something we would do in industry. We never electroplate in an aqueous environment because they're building a mossy type of metal. But this is a great demonstration. Now, what I'm going to do is pan back here. Okay, get my refocus here. And I'm going to switch the leads. So I'm going to make what was once the anode, now the cathode. 
So watch what I do here. So I'm going to stop the voltage or in the uh, in the amperage. I'm going to stop the source of the current, DC current, and all I'm going to do is flip the leads. So I'm going to take this red lead, which was once attached to the cathode, and make it now attached to the anode. So I'm just going to switch the leads on the DC current. And what's that going to do is change the charges. If I haven't already told you, if this was once the cathode, it's negatively charged because the anode, okay, is making it negative. This was once positive because it was attached to the positive part. Now by switching the leads, I'm making this one, what? Now part of, this is attached to the, what? The anode of the battery. And now this is the cathode. Now this is going to be negative. Positive ions are going to be attracted to the negative cathode in electrolytic cell. And plating is going to occur here, and we should be losing mass. So let me just zoom back in, see if we can see this up close and personal again. And by switching the leads, just getting my focus here, switching the leads, I'm going to turn this back on, and hopefully I see the reverse. I'm making the cathode now on the right-hand side because I'm forcing it to go with the anode. Turning my current back on at some point here. Here we go. And if everything's attached, we could see that the cathode, which is now the right electrode, is getting bigger because reduction occurs at the cathode. And if you look carefully, the one to the left should be getting smaller. That electrode is forcing electrons back to the cathode, and that should be forcing the oxidation. So we're making this lead solid become lead plus two ions. So that should be getting smaller as the right gets bigger. And that's a great example that I use all the time to show and talk about electrolytic spell, especially electroplating. So you can see that that Chia Pet lead's growing on the right, and we can see clearly that the lead on the left, those amount of lead is getting smaller as we see dissolving occurring, as we see the lead zero going to lead plus two at the anode, that's oxidation. And we see the what? We see the lead plus two becoming lead zero, which is solid here. And clearly, we just wa we just switched the two um, uh, universes of each of the each of these ions. And if you look carefully, you can see sometimes some uh, some some uh, ion some some something some of these zincs or I should say leads, okay, pitting and getting real small. Okay, it's a pretty cool demonstration. And there we go. If you look at the corner of this electrode here, you can see it getting smaller and you can see um, ions, I don't think you can see ions, but you can see a flow of something dissolving. If you look very carefully to the corner. And if you look to the right, you can see the crystallized form of the lead. Look how it's shiny, some luster. Again, it's not true electroplating, but you can see clearly the right is the cathode where plating is occurring. And if you look carefully on the left electrode, you can see some dissolving. Hope that helped.